62 degrees, kind of that sweet spot this late in the evening. The sun was in and out today, Matt, but yeah. I mean, it was glorious out there. It was great. You know, our standards have changed a little bit, though, because, oh, yeah. you know, oh, yeah. you Big get time. in the heart of summer, it's like, if it's not a clear blue sky, it's like, what happened? You know, but we'll take this. Yeah, so my expectations for this weekend now are pretty low. Yeah, well, I've been I've been trying to work on you all week to, <laughs> to make sure that is the case and everybody, because we are going to get rain, especially on Saturday. But today was great, as David mentioned. We had these scattered high clouds moving on through. You can see Mountain Hood there on the very left-hand side of the screen. This is from our camera in the Dalles on the Oregon Veterans Home. Kind of a sweet look at these clouds moving on through. And I kept looking for a halo, never saw one, but Tim Stanford did. Look at this shot of the 22 degree halo, just a perfect concentric circle around the sun. That happens when the sunlight gets refracted by ice crystals up in those high, thin cirrus clouds. And the, it's a 22 degree angle because the light gets bent 22 degrees by those ice crystals. So again, a great look at that. On Doppler radar, oh, we're beginning to see green on the map. There's not much. Most of that's probably not even reaching the ground, but it is an indication of the end of our warm, dry weather, right? At least the dry part. 73 today in Portland. Medford made 88. And you know what we're not going to do this month? Probably is not reach 80 degrees here in the month of May. That's only happened twice in the recent history, 2010 and 2011. I don't remember those summers or not, but they were really cold and really, that's the one that spawned the term January. Um, so there you go, because of such a cool, wet June. All right, hopefully we won't do that again this year, right? But it hasn't been a cool, wet May. And the wet is coming back tomorrow, but just in the form of scattered showers. This first system kind of cruises up to the north, stalls out, falls apart a bit, but we get showers tomorrow afternoon. But the next one, comes on shore on the central Oregon coast Saturday, and that's going to bring us a good soaker. Now, I've seen some updates to the position of this, showing it a little farther north. If that happens, more of the Oregon coast will get windy during the day Saturday. We're all going to get wet. Question is about the wind, and there's going to be wind on the central and southern coast and possibly on the north coast if the position of that storm where it makes landfall changes a little bit. Now, as we go into Sunday, showers, but really some improvements Sunday. There'll be sun breaks along with those showers, snow down to about 5,000 feet. And then on Monday, we dry it out. And of course, Tuesday, Wednesday look good. The nice thing is we're beginning to see some signs that next week we may stay dry for several days to come. Dry would be good because look at the rainfall through the rest of May. If we pick up that 1.85, that would make this the fourth wettest May on record in Portland following, of course, our wettest April on record. So Saturday, wettest day of the long weekend as we get that storm coming to the coast, then things improve. Monday is the warm, dry day, and then it looks like much of next week may follow suit and also be warm and dry. Another way to look at our Memorial Day weekend forecast is day by day like this. So we'll break it down for you. A high of only 60 on Saturday. That's cool with the rain. 62 Sunday with sun breaks. And then Monday, though, that's the best of the weekend days as we begin to see things warm up. And tomorrow is dry. We get into the 70s, dry until about 2 to 4 p.m. when the showers begin to push back on shore. 62 in Portland right now, freezing level 10,500 feet. On the Oregon coast, afternoon showers tomorrow. It'll be a wet weekend of the coast again, especially on Saturday. That's the day that's going to be the real, like, really holiday weekend. Afternoon showers in the valleys, highs will be in the low 70s, up in the Cascades. Afternoon showers and maybe a thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon, too. We'll have to keep a close eye on that. Afternoon thunderstorms possible on the east side, and some of those could be strong to severe. So, again, something we'll be watching. And in the gorge, west winds will increase tomorrow afternoon. 80 in the Dalles, but not in Portland. We make it up to 73 tomorrow with the showers in the afternoon. 66 on Friday, only 60 Saturday, but then things begin to warm up. And Monday, definitely the nicest of the holiday weekend days. And Tuesday and Wednesday look pretty good right now, too, as we climb to 78, David, by the middle of next Looks week. Looks like a roller coaster. Hey, I'm almost afraid to ask this, but the 22 oh degree halo, yeah. if the ice crystals are feeling a bit rough, can we get a 90 degree halo? No, I don't think that's physically possible. I, I told yeah. you I was afraid to ask yeah. you. Yeah. All right, we'll figure it Sorry out. Sorry to shoot that one down, <laughs> but no. We'll be right back.